Hey guys, Steven is Salaga here and I've got a new haircutting tutorial for you guys. Again, I've gotten lots and lots of requests for this one. This is Aaron Ramsey. He's a soccer player or football player um, and I've gotten quite a bit of requests. So I'm ready to go. Let's get started. I'm going to start with a one and a half guard. I'm going to go probably about to about right here all the way throughout this side, the back and then the other side. And then we're going to go up to probably about number two and then blend it up to about right here. All right, now this is done with the one and a half. I just want to use a 1A. Um, this is an Oster blade here, just throughout the bottom here, just to clean it up a little bit tighter, um, all the way up throughout the neckline and the sideburn area. All right, now I'm going to switch to a number two guard, and then a three and a half, and then we'll do everything by hand as we move up into this area and to the top. All right, so Aaron has his hair coming over this way, uh, but a lot of these guys, as you know, they change their hairstyle up. One day it's going over this way, the next day it's going this way. But I'm doing this inspired by um, the photos um, from what I've seen. So let's work in from this side, which is the opposite side of the part, uh, in through the other side. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to start blending everything in uh, because it's a lot longer on top. And the best way to do this is simply just find where you left off with the clippers here and the buzzer and we're going to use that as a guideline and we're going to cut it straight across okay and this is just going to be a very very fast and efficient way of uh, cutting and of keeping a good uh, timing with this and keeping everything pretty consistent okay just like that see we got rid of a lot of hair and we also started to create a nice blend so we're going to do this also right into here but we're leaving the part uh, the front a little bit longer Okay, because that's where he has it longer and it comes over a little bit this way. So what we're going to do is just continue to do this throughout the whole side and through here. And also once we get into the top right here, we can then start to come in and uh, round this out like this, holding it straight up from the head, which is going to give us a nice connected shape. Okay, same thing on this side and through here. So now what we've done is we've started to uh, establish a nice length and a nice blend into here. And don't worry, you can always go back in if you need to um, tighten it up even more. I always like to also do this um, when it's dry, a little bit on the more dry side because you can see everything, every little detail. When it's wet, sometimes it's harder to see. But what I'm going to do is continue to do that. And then also on this side, the same thing. We'll split this down like this, push this out of the way. There is our guide right here and we're going to cut this. Remember this is the side that he parts it on. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this uh, stays long enough that it can go over and sweep over um, in the front like this because about right in through here is where it starts to all kind of blend in. So let's jump on this side now. We're going to connect just like this and here we go blending it in and there we have it. So Let's continue to just work this so I feel it's got a nice uh, shape and a nice blend that it's not completely, you know, really disconnected, um, but it's just a little bit longer. So everything throughout here is pretty much even um, working throughout this whole back here. So now that we have that established, we can then come in this way and we can cut it all uh, one length on the top, all right, and create our shape throughout the top here. So now let's do that. Let's comb this all back and we're going to comb it straight up like this and we're going to cut it straight across. All right. Let's do that on this side too, all the way throughout the top. And as we get towards the top uh, in the front, we're going to be leaving it a little bit longer and we're going to be disconnecting um, sl slightly or over directing, which leaves a little bit longer. So it's not necessarily disconnecting the whole thing. Um, it's just cutting it going shorter to longer so that the top right into here is the longest point. All right, the very front, what I'm going to do, as you can see, it's quite a bit long, longer than I, I want it. I'm just going to cut this down straight across. That's probably about to the uh, little below or just touching the eyebrow. Everyone's forehead is different, though, uh, so I'm not sure where it's going to end up on you. But as you can see here, we're cutting it down just so we have enough that it has a nice little arch right in the front here, uh, creating a little bit of volume right into the front. 
All right, now this side, again, is obviously a lot longer than we want it. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're cutting it to where our guide is right through here, okay? Then once you see that, you can then do scissor over comb to where you're uh, kind of working it all in. And as you can see here, what that does is it creates um, enough length to go over this way, all right? Um, but what I wanna do is I wanna go over the top a little bit more, just to shorten it down a little bit. Um, but this is establishing the whole length uh, to make sure that we're on the right track. So let's just go back in, cut this now to where it's about probably, I'd say an uh, inch and a half to two inches on top the most. And we just wanna create a nice even shape throughout the whole top. It's a pretty much a standard haircut throughout here. And then just a slightly longer uh, into the front. So let's continue to work this whole shape in. As you can see, I'm combing this straight up and I'm blending it all in like this, all right? Here's the very, very front into this corner here. So you just wanna make sure you leave it a little bit longer that this can go over this way, okay? Now, when you get into this part, what you wanna make sure you do is blend this all in. And once again, scissor over comb is gonna be the method of choice uh, when doing this. Again, the hair is still a little bit wet, so I like to dry it and then go back in and do it over because then you can really see everything when it's dried. All right, guys, now you see that it, how it's dried. And what I want to do is I just want to go in here and just blend this in a little bit better and take it down a little bit shorter right in through this side here in the corner. All right, and that's why, again, seeing it when it's dried, uh, you get a much better feel um, for how it's going to you know, look and how it's going to lay. You can also see um, you know, a lot of the lines more if you cut any lines in the hair. But that's looking definitely a lot better. And I'm just going to kind of taper this down just a little bit more um, just like this, all right? And this looks good. And now let's go on this side here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing, just work in a little scissor over comb, just like this, just to make sure it's got a nice uh, taper to it and a nice blend, okay? So once you feel comfortable that this is all blended in and that it's looking good, then you should be pretty much uh, finished. Now as far as styling it goes, uh, it really depends on what you guys, you know, want to use. You can use gel, you can use, um, you know, uh, maybe like a pomade or something. Um, his hair tends to have a little more of a natural, uh, maybe sometimes a little more of a, of a shiny kind of pomade look to it. So that's what I think we're going to do. We're going to use a pomade just to give it some shine. All right, guys, here's the finished look for uh, the Aaron Ramsey haircut. And as you can see, it's coming down, it's blended in throughout the back here. Uh, and here we have the volume into the top and it kind of comes over this way. And also we've got a little bit of a part coming in through here uh, and just kind of works in like this. So uh, I think this came out awesome. All right guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and keep the requests coming. Don't forget guys, my new schedule, Sunday, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, and I hope you all are enjoying it. So I'm trying to get out as many uh, tutorials as I can to you guys. And don't forget, the number one question I get is, what do I tell my barber? Very simple. Find a picture of who you want to look like on Google, on your phone, and bring it into your barber and say, this is what I want. That simple, guys. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more tutorials with the Salon Guy.